What's going on folks? This is Kyle Cumberton from Parkway RV and what I have for you right here is a 2018 Columbus Compass 384 RD. Um, it's a really nice true four season fifth wheel and let's just get into those specs so we can check it out. Alright, we have a length of 42 feet 1 inch, a height of 12 feet 4 inches, a dry weight of 12,617 pounds, it sleeps 4 to 5 comfortably, it has a fresh water tank that holds 75 gallons, a black water tank that holds 78 gallons, and a gray water tank that holds 78 gallons also. As for our amenities, we have a dual entry, a 55 inch TV, a internal vacuum system, and underbelly heating. Alrighty guys, nothing left to do than to check her out ourselves, come on. Okie dokie, so the first thing I'll show you as we come up here is the pass through storage. And the first thing you'll see as I open up the pass-through storage is our uh, controls for our electronic leveling system right here. And then directly behind that is our big old inverter. And then if we look in here, let me see if I can get a little bit more light. If we look in here, that right there is the um, is the vent for our underbelly heating. So that's going to blow heat in here. It's going to keep all of our water and our pipes from getting frozen in the winter, as well as any cargo we have that is temperature sensitive in the pass-through storage. Oh, and then one more thing. We have your tank controls right in here. Then next to that we have our water heater and we do have a 10 gallon water heater and then I believe our furnace is 35,000 BTUs and then on top, you can't see them from over here, but on top we do have two 15,000 Coleman BT or two 15,000 BTU Coleman AC units. Um, we can crouch down here. We have 16 inch wheels with aluminum wheels, two tone aluminum. And then back here we have our 50 amp power input. And then we also have this really nice steel bumper that uh, extends about a foot back from the rest of your RV. That is really nice. That could keep you from bumping into any sorts of nasty concrete poles or anything like that. Because, um, you know, these things can be a little tricky to back up sometimes. All right, and under here we have our battery storage. I believe it only has one battery in it right now, but we it does have a setup for dual batteries. Ooh, ooh. Then over here we have the other side of our pass-through storage. It has a really nice magnetic lock right there. And then inside over here you can see we have that internal vacuum system. Then right above that we have a radio for an outdoor entertainment system. Um, we do have two waterproof speakers. And then right above that is our power retractable awning. We have very sturdy steps leading up to the front door. Those are always nice. Um, and then the front door has 
keyless entry. Keyless entry can be a benefit because if you're out at the lake or anything, you know, uh, you forget your hot dogs or your mustard up at the camper, you can have somebody run up there and grab them and you don't even have to fish your keys out of your bag first. Alrighty folks, and then this is the interior. We have these really stylish looking cherry stained cabinets. And then right above that, as you can see, we have um, domestic style crown molding all the way around the top. Um, here you can see we do have um, one piece solid cap or, uh, countertops, excuse me. And then a very good amount, let me close this door real quick. A very good amount of storage in the kitchen with ample counter space and then over here we do have this really nice accent piece right behind the counter um, but it does have a very sizable pantry and we do have this absolutely gigantic 23 cubic foot LG refrigerator. I believe it is 110 like a domestic one would be. Um, yep, right there you can see it has the inverter linear logo on it. Um, then one thing that's also really nice is underneath the sink we actually have room for a full-sized kitchen trash can. That's always a huge plus. And then right above that is our sink. It is a two-sided sink, which always helps out for washing dishes. And then we have a stainless steel faucet to match that nice stainless steel refrigerator. Um, over here, we have a 30-inch microwave, fully sized. And then right below that is our three-burner stove. And then our stainless steel, steel oven. Um, I do really like that it has this little bar next to it. Um, not only it's a good place to do work or, uh, you know, sit there and eat breakfast, but it's also, if you move these stools out, it's a really nice extra space for prepping food while cooking. It gives you a whole other counter area that is um, really cool. And then over here we have our den. As you can see, I have the ambient fireplace lit up right now. And then above that, we have our 50 inch television. And on either side are um, these really nice frosted glass, same cherry stain. Um, and I imagine that's storage for, you know, media stuff. You put an Xbox in there, things like that. Um, and over here, we have our sofas. This one is theater seating with storage in the center, a great place to put your remotes. And then these seats, let's see, they do fold out into sleeping areas. It's definitely not your average jackknife sofa though. It's a really nice design. much more actual sleeping room than a normal jackknife sofa. You could fit two people on this. And I think it's more comfortable than your standard fold-out um, right, fold bed. But it looks kind of like that when you have it all the way folded out. Plenty enough room to sleep two people. One thing I do want to show you guys is, so if we take a look at the ceiling, you'll notice that you cannot see the AC vent anywhere, right? Um, that is because it is up above the ceiling and the reason um, our Coleman Air is called Coleman Serenity is it's supposed to be super quiet and the way they get it super quiet is instead of having our AC unit with the intake duct right there it is up in the roof and then ducted out with styrofoam to these two vents 
over here and that styrofoam ducts makes it way less quieter than your average AC. We can take a look at our dinette. Still with storage above with that black frosted glass. And then we have that cherry trim that goes all the way around. Over here, we have something else really cool. So if I crouch down a little bit, that right there is our plug-in for the vacuum hose. Um, but something really interesting, this, this part right next to it, um, this is for, so if you're sweeping, you can sweep everything right over here. You don't need a dust pan. And then you just take this and move it right up like that. And it's gonna suck in all the dust and stuff. That is a really cool little design. No need for an extra dust pan. And it really cuts down on cleanup efforts. Um, in here we have kind of a like, coat rack closet great place to put your coats and things when you come in outside where it's wet you come inside you can put all your stuff in there so it doesn't get water all over the rest of the cabin in here we have our bathroom we have both a porcelain toilet and sink which is very rare and we have this absolutely gigantic shower I just want to sit in here for a second, stretch out my legs and show you how much room there is in here. Look at that. My legs are fully extended while I'm sitting on this seat and I still have about a foot and a half of space above my toes. This might be the biggest shower I've ever seen in an RV, guys. Oop. And then we have a medicine cabinet right above the sink for practical toiletry storage. And then in here we have the bedroom. All right, we have our queen sized mattress with a window on either side and reading lights surrounded by that cherry trim. Um, we do have a really nice, solid privacy door. I do not know why they put mirrors on every surface in these master bedrooms. And then over here, we have a really nice, huge closet with ample storage space for clothing. You have your folding clothing storage, and then your hanging clothing storage, and then you can stack accessories and stuff up there. And then right next to that, we have a, another small closet equipped with our washer and dryer hookup, an extra dining chair, and there is our hose for the um, internal vacuum system. And then we do have a built-in dresser over here with a 28... 30 inch TV on top of it. Check that out, folks. Um, all right, guys, so that is the Columbus Compass by Palomino. It is a really great camper. Um, you could thrive in this all year long. I believe the insulation in the walls, I believe you have in the side walls is R11, and in the um, roof walls is um, R40, I believe. Um, so you can stay in here nice and warm in the winter, and then you have those two Coleman air system um, that's gonna keep you nice and cool in the summer. So um, let's just take a he head outside, and I'll give you some numbers and then get out of your hair, guys. All right, folks, so the MSRP for the Palomino Columbus Compass 384RD is going to be $53,900, but we have it down here on the lot today for $49,900. And this is a great 
Fifth wheel, it would make an excellent all year round camper, a second home on wheels, or if you just want to get out there and travel, a great first home on wheels, guys. And also, don't forget, we are haggle and hassle free, so you don't have to come down here and argue to get a better deal. We want to give you the best price right off the bat. And we do offer 90 day upgradable warranties to any unit 10 years old or newer. And also, if while I'm walking around these things, you guys see any errors, dings, scratches, stuff like that, um, we do service our vehicles post purchase. So, any issues you see while I'm walking around these things will get fixed by the time you came to pick it up off the lot. Um, but we do have a little bit of a lead time on those services because of the influx of campers we've been selling. But you can just get with your salesman and they should be able to give you a pretty accurate time frame. Um, Alright guys, now I'm just going to throw the number down on the screen and I will get out of your hair for the day. I'm Kyle Cumberton from Parkway RV. I hope you guys enjoyed the Palomino Columbus, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take it easy, folks.